Hey guys, Keith Seymour from Seymour Cycle Works here, and in today's video, we're gonna be covering how to make a modern Predator 212 engine look like a vintage motorcycle engine, how to strip it down, make it look old so that you can pass it off as a vintage motorcycle tribute. Hey guys, this is the Excelsior that I recently finished up and rode in my hometown parade. And uh, I made the awful mistake of over tightening the flywheel bolt and ended up cracking it and damaging the, uh, the crankshaft. So with that, I decided to just swap out the whole engine and transfer everything over. So this is me taking it uh, off the engine you can see, or off the, the, the mounts. You can kind of see um, the time lapse here, just really showing how simple it is to just swap out the whole engine. All right, so now I have the new Predator motor, um, Honda GX200 clone, and the old one that I uh, cracked the flywheel on, and also realized that I damaged the shaft, so I decided to go ahead and do a whole new motor um, and just swap everything over. So I just swapped over the vintage plug uh, plug wire here, and and then replaced the studs with some bolts um so they were studs like these i put these back in one way one trick to do that is that you take the the nuts you put them together and then tighten them down on each other and then loosen up the the closer one and it takes the stud out and so now i'm about to grind down the gas tank mounts that are from the factory as you can see on this one uh, they're just non-existent anymore. Ground them down. I'm going to transfer this plate over. That's going to be the motor mount uh, for the frame. And then, of course, the clutch and, and assembly there for, um, for the new one. So there you have it. Alright, so now I've got the mounts ground, gr grinded, ground off, um, so there were two there that I cut off. One I uh, was able to do with the sawzall, and then this one was a little too close to the flywheel, so I wanted uh, to get a little more accuracy, so I used a, a hacksaw, and then just ground it down with angle grinder. And then there was a piece right here as well that um, I cut, cut with the, again, with the hacksaw and then ground it down with a file and, and um, angle grinder. Um, so I'll probably still clean that up a little bit more, but uh, now you can see how it's a lot more similar to this one. I'll turn this around to, to show, but yeah, basically you have the new one and the old one. So now we have all the parts. I'm going to leave the governor on this one. Um, yeah, just so we're not revving it too high. And yeah, should be straightforward. So we have the Excelsior. I am uh, preparing for a customer to ship out in a week or so and put the belt drive back on. So uh, I did have the um, the old style red belt, uh, which I believe yeah, I got right here where you can actually piece it together. And I didn't have a good experience with this, although it was really easy to put on, um, you know, cause you can just take it apart and then loop it around. The frame, you'd have to take off the rear wheel to slip it on, but um, I was getting a lot of slippage from it, so that's why I decided to put a just traditional black belt 
on there and we're gonna test that out to see. Um, I do have the option of, of uh, doing a chain drive, um, but I wanted to make this work uh, just cause it's so cool and really wanted to, uh, to, to try to make it work. So anyways, here, here's the engine, uh, the new engine. I'm gonna start patina, um, putting some patina on it, but getting everything hooked up, got um, the clutch and the front mount mounted and everything switched over from the old engine. So yeah, looking good. All right, so we have the new engine mounted. We have the exhaust put on, I'm about to fill up with some oil. Again, about 16 to 18 ounces of oil. Um, I have it actually measured out here in this court. Um, should be good to go for that. I got the new clutch on, chain hooked up. Um, I'm gonna start it up, ride it around a little bit before I, I install the, the cover. Um, this is gonna be a little bit challenging because I, I don't put on the, the the uh, crank arm for the, the pedal until that covers on so that goes on afterwards but i just want to make sure that i don't have to take it off put it back on you know put it on take it back off and so yeah so this should be all set to start up all right about to start the excelsior I'm wrap around pull start choke is on gas is on and kill switch is on so i'm gonna come around this other side Clutch covers on, let's get this into the light of day. Overall, very satisfied with the Excelsior build. 
Loved how the patina turned out. I love the belt drive and finally got it reliable where there's no slipping. Got a brand new clutch on it. Matched the patina on the clutch cover, as you can see here. Um, made the engine look a little bit older. Um, overall, very happy with how it turned out and the results. And as I'm shipping it out to Ohio, I, I know that the customer will be very satisfied with how it turned out as well.